Hi there. We are going to look at how to make tornado charts in Excel. Tornado charts are very useful for showcasing population pyramids or age and gender based purchasing patterns or customer patterns or any of those kind of things. Here is a sample tornado chart that shows the population of London uh, by various years. So this is actual data up to 2019 and from 2020 onwards that's the projection uh, as per data.london.gov.uk. And if I pick a different year I can see the projection. I could probably see for example back in 2011 there is a big uh, spike in age 30 group of people uh, and then in 2019 the the spikes have kind of moved down 30 to 32 for, for women and 32 to 35 for men and maybe in 10 years time it will again even out there but there's more population uh, gradual increase in population in these age groups and there is a big jump here as well uh, so that's uh, how a tornado chart would look like. It will be very useful when you are explaining trends where you have age and gender as parameters. So how do you make this kind of a chart? Uh, we will take a look at the whole process from scratch here. Is the sample data we have by each age by each year gender what is the population okay so there's like 3,000 rows uh, for each age and then the first step is you could also make this with formulas because we wanted to have this as an interactive experience where I can pick a year as well I'm gonna use a pivot table approach so we'll select any cell insert a pivot table I'll just do the whole thing in a new worksheet uh, but uh, you could also see the calculations here and then in this uh, we will start off by adding year as a slicer so I can pick an year and then for that year I want to see age in rows gender in columns and then population in the values now when you pick multiple years it's going to add up all of those numbers so uh, that's how it will look like once this is there we will select the pivot table we can go to design remove any grand or subtotals so that this is what we end up with right and then adjacent to pivot table I can make a a label called age female and then male and then age would be equal to that number female is negative of that number and then male is same as this number okay so we're getting a copy of the pivot table here and then we will just drag this down to the last value now here I'm making a naive assumption that whichever year you select you will have all the values 0 to 90 if that's not the case with your data you need to go to pivot table make sure that it will list all the labels even if that value is not there to do that you select the row label item anyone go to design or sorry analyze field settings and then layout and print uh, and then show items with no data option what this will do is if there is no customers in the age group of five years or six years for a specific year uh, then it will also list the word 5 there otherwise it would have messed up that thing for this London data we have values everywhere so we don't need to do that but I want you to be mindful of that so if I select this uh, an age I can see the pivot table changes because this is a reference to the pivot table it will change you might be thinking why are we bothering with this why can't we use the values from pivot table directly uh, because we want the female uh, to go to one side and male to go to another side we have to use the negative sign and that's not possible with the pivot table approach directly we could use power pivot and write a measure uh, but uh, it's kind of an overkill for this so I'm not doing that once we have this we can uh, select the female and male populations insert a uh, a bar chart that would do we will get this uh, I think uh, 
I'm gonna try a different chart as well. Yeah, probably that'll do. So we will get the basic pyramid here. 90 is on the top and one is at the bottom. We could also flip this, but at this stage, our pyramid is kind of ready. I can cut this, move to the top, right next to my slicer, and then I can play with the slicer and I can see my pyramid changing. So we will now take a quick look at the formatting options. One is adjusting the gap. So select any one lines, press Control 1 to format. Gap width shall be zero so that they are all touching each other and then that will be that we'll select the axis here we will go to reverse order because i think 0 to 100 is a more logical choice than 100 to 0 and then we can go to labels the label is in the middle you can't read it so we will move to from label position next to axis to we will either move it to high or low we can move it to low that will be a good place for it and then tick marks interval between marks is one but we will set it to 10 uh, and then uh, sorry label also we will set it to 10 so that it will look like this and uh, that's pretty much it i think uh, our our chart is now ready what we could also do is add a title there is a negative number shown here but this is positive population as well so to fix the axis formatting select the axis and then we can go to your formatting options here go to number and unlink it from source and here we will type zero semicolon zero what this does is whether it is a positive number or negative number that's where the semicolon is separating the format codes it will just show the number alone not the negative sign and remove that negative sign if you want you can also show this in thousands you would need to write the special code for that as well uh, but uh, because most of the times you may not have such large numbers i'm not showing that method here we'll delete the title uh, and then now you have this let's select the slicer because it, we got like 20 30 years here uh, i go to the slicer i'm going to show uh, three columns wide okay so that we will have this i think we have 20 so maybe four columns will so there you go this is how you can make a tornado chart uh, this is the final one that i made all i did is i applied some more formatting grid lines etc and then i added two tiny tornadoes one for the age groups working age groups 19 to 65 and then the other is for uh, kids 0 to 18 working population and retired people to show what that mix looks like for london for any given year so I hope you liked this technique. I highly recommend that you try tornado charts, especially when you have age and uh, gender values uh, so that you could uh, show the distribution in a more innovative and fun way. Uh, the name tornado suggests that it does look like a tornado with that kind of a bell curve pattern going on both ways. Uh, and hence the name. Thank you so much. Uh, talk to you again in the next video. Bye-bye.